I'm Deontay Jenkins, and here's what's on my mind. The relationship between a director and a cinematographer is the most important relationship that you can have on set. Now normally when a director finds a cinematographer that they work very well with, they stick with them. And that is definitely the case with Steven Spielberg and Janusz Kaminski. Starting with Schindler's List in 1993, their collaboration has spanned nearly three decades. And in that time, they've worked on films such as the aforementioned Schindler's List, Omnistad, Saving Private Ryan, War of the Worlds, Catch Me If You Can, Munich, Lincoln, Bridge of Spies, The Post, and so many more in between. But it was in that first collaboration where they really gelled, with Schindler's List winning them both their first Oscars. But before we get into that, if you like content about cinema, storytelling, and filmmaking, hit that subscribe button and make sure the notifications are turned on so you can see every time I post a video. Give this video a like if you think it's cool, and follow me on social media. The collaboration started after Spielberg saw Kaminsky's work in 1991's Wildflower, a TV movie which prompted Spielberg to hire Kaminsky for a film he was producing called Class of 61. Following this, Spielberg was so impressed with Kaminsky's work that he brought him on to do Schindler's List. Now this could not have been easy for Janusz Kaminsky, it's hard enough to work with a new director, but especially the most successful director of all time, which Spielberg was even back then. Think about it, before Kaminsky had come along, Spielberg had already made Jaws and Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Color Purple and E.T. and even though they came out the same year Jurassic Park was even done with another cinematographer. So we're talking an all-time great resume that Janusz Kaminski had to work with and in those highly successful films Spielberg had already established a style, a very notable style in fact. Whether it was Spielberg's blocking of the actors in the camera movement or creating multiple compositions with what's been called the Spielberg Wonder, even his use of long master shots and loving to shoot on wide lenses in general is something that was already established. Spielberg has often stated that he likes to compose every image himself and even chooses his own focal length. For me, directing is camera work. And so I'm very on the front line of that. I've got to set up the shot, I've got to block the actors, choreograph the movement of the scene, bring the camera into the choreography, figure out when the camera stops, how it moves, how far it moves, what the composition is. So I've always got my eye on the lens, and that's what I do. I even pick the, the lens I want. He's going to shoot at that. You know, with, with, I would say with about a uh, 50 mil. So what can a cinematographer bring to the table with a director who pretty much loves to compose every image himself and has his own style of camera movement? With every director comes their own visual style. And Janusz Kaminski knows that it's the director's job to place the camera. That's his job, man, to put the camera. That's the director's job. You put, you know, you put the camera where you think it should go, you're getting paid for it. You know? And then it's another story, how much collaboration there is, how much some directors are totally not interested in putting the camera, you know. So it's the cinematographer's job to take the visuals that the director is creating and assist and enhance those visuals. And that's exactly what Janusz Kaminski does. Whether a cinematographer is composing the images himself or not, they have their own tools in their toolbox to use. Tools such as lighting. To keep up with the quick on his feet Spielberg, who often works with 20 to 30 setups a day, Kaminsky lights in such a way as to give Spielberg almost unlimited freedom with his trademark dynamic blocking. Kaminsky uses lights in blobs or layers, not very defined, but always with character. And he uses smoke or haze in order to spread the light. Haze becomes its own lighting source and further lowers the contrast. He often strips the protective coating and modifies lenses to get different types of flares or effects in the lens themselves. Janusz has a tendency to like punchy light sources and he doesn't like so-called called natural light. Now that's not to say that Janusz Kaminski does not compose anything himself or never places the camera himself, but typically things flow from Spielberg to Kaminsky. Spielberg has a vision, Janusz is helping him create that vision. Each of them have a job to do and neither of them step on each other's toes. And one of the things that makes their collaboration so special is knowing each other's job and allowing them to do their job without very much interference. He does his work, I do my work. Uh, he's very complimentary, I'm very complimentary of his work. Uh, there's no fear, there's no competition. He is taking my work away from me. I'm imposing my, my ideas and he, no, he does his stuff and I do my stuff. You know, even after 27, 25 years, you don't want to inform, give too much information because then you subject yourself to being questioned, to being questioned. And sometimes I don't really have an answer, it just feels right. You know, why is that light up there? What's up there? Why is it bouncing? I don't know. It feels right for the for the story. Okay, okay, good. So each of them bring their own tools to the table. Janusz has his own style of lighting that's very unique to him. So you have a Spielberg composition, but those compositions don't look the same without Janusz Kaminski's lighting. I use light or void of light and shadows to tell the story, and I have certain aesthetics. 
I like hard light. I like the light to be visible. I'm not the guy using flaccid light sources and underexposed images and just uses so-called natural light. I use available light, every available light from the lighting truck. But I like the light. So even though Spielberg has his own strong voice, Janusz's voice is not drowned out by the voice of the director. You can look at an image from their films and say, I can tell that Spielberg made this image, but you can also say, I can tell that Janusz made this image. It's a collaborative effort between the two of them. They both have their own personal style and they bring it to the table and mix it together. But with Janusz, you can't forget about one thing. That's the backlight. The backlight is Janusz Kaminski's primary weapon. He's known very well for backlighting a scene as a second or even primary key light. With exteriors, Janusz Kaminski likes to backlight the subject against the sun. This method has a one-sided effect. That's another Janusz Kaminski signature, the super hot rim light or hair light. Very rarely do you get the opportunity to overpower the sun. So he lets his rim light blow out. This carries into his interior work as well, which gives his interiors and exteriors a sort of continuity. A director like Spielberg who already had a tendency to love silhouettes and a cinematographer like Janusz Kaminski who loves backlighting is a match made in heaven. When you look at the best cinematographers, not that I'm the best, but you look at the significant cinematographers, they all have the same principle. There's a sense of reality with placing the light sources in frame and then motivating the artificial light, the direction of the light from the existing light source. If in my opinion that doesn't work for me, if it's not dramatic enough, I'll create different lights that have nothing to do with reality for the sake of improving the movie and the storytelling. Seriously, look at Spielberg's films before and after Janusz Kaminski. Even when he did use backlight, it didn't have the same depth or mood or atmosphere that it did after Janusz. How about just lighting their mouths and nothing else? I was just going, you know what? Him, him? I want to know him. I want to like just from the top. So we got some shadows here, just like, okay. I just want to make sure we're not being too um, on the nose with the, you know, the badness of the character by having a straight down light. Everything we do in this medium is about light and shadow how the cinematographer lights the actors, lights the set. Their relationship has grown over the years, so much so that they don't even need to do any visual planning. Spielberg has said that Janusz can walk in a room and know immediately how to light it. That takes a lot of trust between collaborators. We never have storyboards on a movie dealing with non-CGI or non-action subject matter. We only have storyboards for the visual tech department so we can budget the movie. We follow the storyboard as a general blueprint, but we really do not fully frantically follow what's on the storyboard that he created months before making the movie because months later he has another idea. Because I'm actually much better when I hit the deck running than when I sit down angsting over a thousand drawings which tends to narrow my imagination when I get to the set because then I look at the set and I complain, oh my god this is not like my drawings, how can I get this humongous set to conform to the drawings I made a year ago? A collaboration can never be one-sided, it has to be fruitful and fulfilling for each participant and both Spielberg and Janusz always challenge each other to bring something new to the table. They have the type of relationship that allows the visuals to flow and come to them the day of. Now this comes and goes the depending on the project, but from the beginning they established a documentary style that allowed spontaneity and, and new creativity. This is a perfect example of a collaboration between a director and a cinematographer. Both of them have their own style, know exactly what to do, and never step on each other's toes. And it's those things that have allowed them to create some of the most beautiful images of all time, and create a dream team that can truly be considered one of the greatest director and cinematographer teams in the history of cinema. Then again, what do I know? 
Thank you again for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was cool. You can check out my latest short film here, and be sure to come back next time, because I kind of like it. I'm Deontay Jenkins. You can follow me here on social media, and I will see you next time. Peace.